The new Minecraft 1.17 update is out, and I'm gonna show you guys 30 ways to decorate your house. We got ice cream machines, we got crazy lights, tons of things. Be ready because we're using all the new Minecraft blocks to decorate this house in 1.17. Excuse me, Mr. Sheep, do you have a second to talk about the brand new 1.17 update? What do you like about the update? <laughs> Mr. Sheep says he loves some of the new Azalea blocks. I'm going to teach you guys how to make these blocks look beautiful. Place some of them down right outside your house and then go ahead and stack them up. You have these beautiful like modern floating little tree bushes. We're gonna start on the outside of the house and work our way in guys. So be sure to watch till the end of the video. I have some crazy building hacks for you guys. You don't only have the azalea block with the moss block on top but you also have the flowering azalea block with the flowering azalea leaves. That looks pretty cool and if you want to spice it up just a little bit more throw some of this glowing stuff on there. That looks pretty, pretty cool. I personally like doing a mixture. So let's go flower, flower, throw up some moss blocks, some flowering leaves, more flowering leaves, and look at that. <laughs> Looking nice. Our next little build hack, we have these awesome lightning rods, and you can stack soul lanterns on top, and I don't know, it just looks really, really cool. Now to extend them and make them a little bit taller, you can stack them like that, but then they just look weird. So you kind of got to dig down and then place it on the bottom. So then it looks like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a lot better. Stack the lantern on top and there you go. You have these little light posts. They're so cool. I'm gonna do a couple of these going down the driveway. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Very nice. Nice little walkway for when we come home. I like it. Another thing to throw on the side of your house is a little garden. Gardens are really cool, but they just feel like they're missing something. Let's go ahead and do something right in the back here. Let's throw some melons and pumpkins up here, just like so. And then to spice it up a little bit, let's throw some candles on them, just like that. How does that look? Yeah. That's a lot better. Another quick thing you can make is an ore wall. I think these look really, really cool. We're gonna take some of that new redstone and copper ore, make some walls out of it, and just throw some vines on it. I know it's kind of weird, but when you gotta fill a random corner, it looks kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. You got some extra copper or redstone ore laying around, do it. That looks so good. This next one is honestly one of my favorites. It's so cool. We're gonna grab some lightning rods and we're going to extend down from this tree. We're gonna make a floating little swing set. All right, so I placed a couple of the lightning rods. Then we're gonna throw down a trap door right here. We're gonna go ahead and continue that trap door across. And then we're gonna do some on the back side right here. Oh, look at this. It's so cool. Oh, no. No, 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 flip. There we go, okay. And then we're gonna take the moss carpet, which I think, whoa. And we're gonna put it right in the middle for a seat. Patch that grass and look at that. That is so cool. You have a floating little seat that you can just hop on and enjoy the view. If you don't have a pond on the side of your house, you should definitely invest in one. They're so cool. But this pond needs a little bit of extra spice. We're gonna go over here in this corner. We're gonna place down uh, some pieces of dirt here. And we're gonna place a bunch of candles on this dirt. You're probably like unspeakable, what are you doing? Then go ahead and delete this dirt and place down some sugar cane below the can- oh, I messed up on that one. <laughs> Sorry, dumb unspeakable alert. Sugar cane, make sure your sugar cane is next to your pond. Then we're gonna do the same thing, but in the back. And we're gonna make these a little taller, but we're gonna do it with bamboo. This is gonna be pretty cool. Then go ahead and delete all that dirt. Make sure you don't delete the candles. Throw down some sticks of a bamboo, just like so, and grow all those bad boys with some bone meal. And look at that. They're all holding up the candles. That is a very nice touch to your pond. And if you want to get a little bit extra with it, you can put them in the pond as well. I decided to do green stained glass panes holding up one candle. We got three over here and then another one over here. I think the candles it just look so cool. It looks magical. So magical. Isn't that right, buddy? It's not right. Do you smell the candles? Yeah, yeah, shake your head. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Next thing we're gonna do to the pond is one of my favorites. We're gonna take these trap doors, put them out here. You have your trap door. Now we're going to spawn in some drip leaves around the trap door. Try not to step on them because if you do, 
they will start looking like that and they'll just start sinking. So drop your large crystal, your large amethyst bud crystal right in the middle and look at how cool that looks. You can get crazier with it if you want. I did an item frame and some coral fans and sponges on this one. That one's pretty cool. Look at that. Wow! Next thing we're doing is by the pool. Let's say you have two chairs here, but you're kind of missing something in the middle and you don't want to place a normal table just like that. That's lame. So let's do this. We're going to go ahead and spawn two pieces of dirt here. We're going to spawn in some candles and then we're going to place some turtle eggs. How cute. And then we're going to go for the drip leaves, just like so. We want to place this one right there. And then we're going to turn around and place these ones the opposite way so they're facing each other. Then you have a floating drip leaf table that you can put stuff on that is pretty cool now we're gonna make two cool statues they're really easy so follow along over here we have cobbled deep slate slabs on top of deep slate tiles just like so to make a little pyramid then over here we have some stones and stuff with the nether star embedded in the lotus stone look at that this is so cool now you can put these in your backyard you can put them in your front yard anywhere i have them set over here by my beautiful yacht right now just because they're good for you <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put a dispenser here, drop my armor stand into it, and then spawn that bad boy because yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take some chiseled deep slate tiles, build up a little beautiful thing, and then we need also a lightning rod. Gonna put that lightning rod right there. Gonna go ahead and put a piston on top of this lightning rod, then spawn a block of redstone. It's going to push it down. <laughs> What did I just do? Now, hold up, hold up, folks. Well, not done. We're gonna move that piston down one more and then spawn it in again. Oh, wrong block. And again, there we go. Then we're gonna go ahead and delete this and delete all the blocks behind it. And you got a weird armor looking statue looking dude. Kind of cool though. This one needs a little bit of a touch as well. So I'm gonna take some of these blocks, I'm gonna stack them up like this, and I'm gonna spawn an end rod upside down because if you place it this way, it just looks weird. I'm gonna place it upside down, and then I'm going to put a black candle on top of it. So, so fancy, look at that. We should just spawn end rods and put candles on them upside down more often. That looks really, really cool, I like that. It's like it's standing on a little pedestal, it's so cute. Now I'm gonna show you guys a really cool way to make a fence. Normal cobblestone fences like these and these are cool, but look, they can look way, way better than that. What we're going to do is we're going to spawn one of these sideways, just like slow. This is our stripped crimson stem. Then we're going to put a prismarine wall on the side and then a prismarine slab. Now that looks pretty cool. And you can continue the path along, but if you want to get even more fancy with it, you can go ahead and throw some candles right here and then a button on each side. And that looks pretty cool. That is a way better wall. Here's another way to build that wall. We're going to use some darker material. We got some black stone. We're going to throw our candles right here, then throw our buttons on the side and the back. Wow. That, those, those are cool. There's a lot of other combos you can do as well, but those two are personally my favorite. If you have a beach next to your house, I got another fun tip for you guys. Cactuses are also fun to do with candles. We're gonna throw some candles up here on the sand. Go ahead and delete most of the sand and then throw in your cactuses and look at that. That is pretty cool. I mean, honestly, if you just put candles on top of anything, it looks good. Now, if you wanna get a little more crazy with it, you can also, do it in a pot. Look at that. <laughs> this is something you can throw inside your house as well. This next one is honestly really, really cool. I'm going to show you guys how to make a dripstone tree. That's right. You heard me right. So go ahead and place up some blocks and then delete all the other ones below. Place a dripstone right here. Make it a little big. And then we're going to put some more dripstone and kind of connect it just like so. We're going to sprout out from this and basically make a tree. You guys are probably like unspeakable are you kidding me you just made a tree <laughs> and it's not even made out of wood look at that if you want to get even fancier with it you can throw some of these flower pots underneath and they kind of look like coconuts that is so so cool and honestly it fits the beach 
It's like a palm tree. For our next one, we're gonna make a little glow berry farm. This is really, really cool. First, we're gonna start off just by placing down a bunch of fences so we can make like a little canopy. All right, now that we got the fences placed down, and also it doesn't really matter where you put them, just kind of throw them around. Now we're gonna put a bunch of trap doors on top and let's just kind of, uh, kind of connect them all. Just like so, just kind of play connect the dots. There we go, there we go. That's pretty cool. We don't have to be too, too fancy with it. And then we can go ahead and hang our glow berries from the ceiling. Look at that! Once they start growing a little bit more, they'll hang a little lower and they'll look really, really cool. It's really, really cool. Looks really good in the corner. I like it. Now we're headed inside the house. This is the entrance right here and it just feels empty. Like we need something on the ceiling, right? The walls look good. We nailed this. The, this looks good. I like the shelves that kind of float, but we, we need something up there. Let's go to make a chandelier. We're going to put a lightning rod right here and we're going to make another chandelier right here as well with the chain. We're going to take our block of amethyst. We're just going to drop one down and we're just going to put some clusters around it just like so that looks pretty good so this one we're gonna get a little crazier we'll drop it down two blocks and then drop some clusters around it and boom what do you guys think some chandeliers honestly i think they fill the space and they look pretty good if you got two paintings on the wall and it just doesn't feel right and you don't want to put more shelves and other stuff you can throw one of these respawn anchors down and then go ahead and spawn some glowstone on it and it's pretty much going to make it brighter and brighter. Look at that. And then go ahead and throw a crystal on top because it looks cool. There you go. But if that is not enough, I'm going to show you guys how to turn this wall into a shelf with a giant sword, a katana on top of it. And trust me, it looks legit. Let's do it. The process to build this is a little bit confusing. So you first, you got to spawn in some dispensers. Go ahead and throw an armor stand in each dispenser, just like so. I'm going to spawn in these cut copper stairs, just like that. Then go ahead and spawn in your armor stands, just like so, and throw down some more stairs, just like that. Should look just just about like this right now. Then you wanna go ahead and build up a little bit, throw down a lightning rod and then a chain. And I know, I know you're like, bro, this makes no sense. Trust me, trust me, we're getting to, we're getting to the best part. Now you're gonna grab a piston and you're gonna spawn it right here and right there. We want two of them. One that's gonna push the chain and then the other blocks as well. Go ahead and drop some redstone on these first two that push the stairs into the armor stand and then another block of redstone that pushes the chain and the lightning rod. Then go ahead and delete all of this redstone nonsense. Delete all of this and then spawn the final chain right there. And boom, you have a katana sword resting on a stand with a table. Isn't that so cool? So you got a dining room table and you went a little fancy with it. You got some banners, the chairs look nice. You got some carpet, some grass underneath. It looks good, but you need something on that table. Let's go ahead and throw a cake down, drop a candle on top, drop two lightning rods, and then spawn some candles on those. And boom, you've got some beautiful table decorations. But oh no, your table is not complete because there's nothing above it. Yeah, you have this fancy skylight, but you need a little bit more. I'm going to show you guys how to make a really cool light, not only for a dining room table, but also it could be used in an entryway like this. And this light can be as long and as big as you want. We're going to throw down some of these lightning rods. Go ahead and throw down some flower pots below, and then we're going to connect them with cacti just like that. Then we're going to take these spore blossoms and spawn them on each one. And you have these beautiful flower-like chandeliers. That is so, so cool. Everyone uses carpet in their Minecraft house, so let's do something a little bit different. We're going to spawn down a ton of this moss carpet. I love this stuff. We're going to go all the way down here. And then we're gonna go all the way back around, just like so. And then we're going to delete the blocks in the middle. Then we're gonna take these flowering azalea blocks and place them right in the middle, just like so. This is a much better alternative to carpet. Add some greenery into the house and looks like a really, really cool rug. And also it's a little bit 3D as well. If you got another empty wall, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a clock, but not just any clock, not a simple clock like that. No, that, 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 ugly. We're gonna make it a fancy one. Step number one, go ahead and place down a stair and then another stair right above. But this stair actually needs to face 
the other way like that. Or <laughs> there you go. That way. That way. That way. That way. That. Yeah. That's right. We're gonna go ahead and play some of the Ebo. Oh. Oh. It, it just do the trap doors down the side. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. We're gonna throw a lightning rod right here in the middle, and then an item frame right here, and put the clock in it. And there you go. You got one of those fancy clocks with the thing that moves, and it goes beep. Now we're going into our bathroom. Now our bathroom looks pretty good. We got a tub. We got the candles. We got the floors. We got the sink. We got the toilet, and we even got the beautiful, beautiful chandelier with those blossoms. But just it just needs a little bit of a more touch. We're gonna take these glow vines and we're gonna put them all over this wall. And for a second, you're like, huh, it looks kind of weird. But if you look at it, it kind of looks like the wall is covered in like Christmas lights or something. It actually gives a really good design to the wall, I'm not gonna lie. And not only does it look good on this light gray concrete, but it looks good on other blocks too. Also, another cool build hack for your bathroom is towel stands. Look at these. So it's literally just a banner on the ground and then a lightning rod sticking out of the wall. That's it, that's it. And it looks like a towel that's hanging. <laughs> it's so cool. You got some more free space. You can make a cool little table with a cool pattern. Throw down some blocks of coal. Then grab this calcite block and throw it down. Kind of like a checkered pattern, just like so. And let's go ahead and grab some of these candles, guys. We love these candles, okay? We can just th throw them all around the table. Doesn't really matter how you lay them out. You can kind of do whatever you want. It's a big, uh, big table candle. There you go. We're gonna do trap doors all around just to make it look a little bit better. Look at this. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Do the 360. The whole, all, oh, yep, yeah, all around. There we go. There we go. And boom. Look at that. Look at that. Filling up the blank space. If you guys got a cool game room like this, I'm gonna show you guys how to make an old, rusty arcade machine. Super, super simple. We're just gonna place down some of these wax exposed copper blocks. These look really cool. We're gonna get another exposed cut copper slab and place it on top to match. Then we're gonna go ahead and place down some crimson doors on on the side, yeah, if I could place it correctly. There we go, crimson doors on the side, close them. We're gonna go ahead and put an item frame with a blackstone brick and then put a sign over it, just like so. Gonna throw another item frame right here with this on it for your screen and then two candles as the joysticks. <laughs> How cool is that? It's a little arcade machine. Look at that. Another cool thing to do is we're headed down into the garage right now. And in the garage, we've kind of converted it into a little laboratory. We have stuff randomly placed, got some cauldrons, some utensils and whatnot, but I don't know, this room just doesn't vibe. What if we use this lightning rod, connect a bunch of things and make it look like pipes? That is exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna start here with these hoppers and boom. That looks pretty cool already. Gonna throw another one on the ceiling and this one. Okay, look at that. We got a bunch of pipes connecting. That, that literally totally changed the vibe of this room. It's so cool. I love these brand new lightning rods. They're so, so sick. Don't know if you guys knew this, but you can actually walk through snow with this new update. How cool is that? Just don't stay in it too long because you might get really cold. Look at all the frost around my screen. Guys, this new update is awesome. Now, we have this little mine here and there's a ton of TNT. You can actually take these red candles and throw them on the TNT and for some reason it just looks so so cool. They're like little sticks of dynamite. There we go. So I just kind of threw these all over the place. They look so, so good. Little mini sticks of dynamite all over the TNT. Another build hack for you guys. If you have a rug like this, which is actually pretty cool and easy to make, it's an ender dragon rug, you can place candles in his mouth just like this. And it kind of looks like he has teeth. You can also light them and it looks like his nostrils are breathing fire. That is a cool little hack. Look at his teeth. <laughs> That's so cool. Next, we're going to build a cool statue in front of the house. It's going to be a robot. Go ahead and place down some pieces of this block of copper. And we're actually going to go down here and delete this. Place down a grindstone. You want it to be upside down. So he kind of looks like he's riding on a wheel. Then we're going to replace an observer block. Make sure the face is facing wherever you want because this is his head. Then go ahead and give him some lightning rods for arms and an antenna on the head and then put a glow item frame on his chest to make him look like Iron Man. For an extra touch, you could throw a repeater in there because it looks kind of cool, but there you go. You got a robot. Unfortunately, he doesn't walk. 
So he's just a just a statue. Next, we got a cool wither statue. I got deep slate tile walls, slabs, and stairs. Place down, place down a tile. Then we're gonna go for two walls and then go off to the side just like so. And just kind of continue up doing that same thing. Should look kind of like this, the bottom of a wither. Then we're actually gonna grab the chiseled deep slate and we're gonna place them on the three points like the heads. And you can see the little faces in there. Isn't that so cool? Nice little wither statue. Just make sure he doesn't come alive and destroy your house. Next up, we got an ice cream stand. This is something really cool to put outside next to the pool. We got an empty wall over here. So let's go ahead and make one. This one's honestly probably one of my favorites. This is the waxed cut copper. We're gonna place down a bone block with a purple block. Go ahead and throw some trap doors and flip them up just like so. Pretty simple. Then we're gonna get the same block just in slab form and go ahead and do that. Put some blocks of copper right there and then two glowing item frames. I love these glowing item frames, they're so cool. And then go ahead and type in wool and pick your favorite flavors of ice cream. I'm gonna pick strawberry and chocolate. And then you can go ahead and put that up in the item frame and then go ahead and drop in some dripstone for the nozzles for the ice cream and then two levers right there. And look at that. You got an ice cream machine. If there's something cool next to your house, like a ravine or some type of cave entrance, you can do kind of crazy things like drop in some lava, some magma, throw in some blackstone and maybe some dripstone as well, make it look like spikes. But then you could also add a drawstring bridge kind of going across. What we can do here is spawn in some of these slabs. Then we can connect them with lightning rods. Then just kind of continue the process there. This is so cool. There we go. Look at that. Now you can still fall in between them, so be careful, but you have a little bridge. So sick. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this build hack video. If you guys did enjoy, definitely be sure to leave a like on this video. And please take some of these ideas and put them into your own house. Make it beautiful. I love decorating my Minecraft house, and I hope you guys do too. Till then, I'll see you next time. Click that subscribe button, and I'm out. Peace.